Ben, we're here at MP Engineering in Hinkley. We're standing in front of a Matsura MX330 5-axis machine with a 10-pallet ball on it. Um, in your opinion, this is the best machine in the factory, isn't it, you told me? Why is that? Um, yeah, it's, for me, it's the easiest machine to operate, uh, to set. Um, things aren't loading you, you're running machine, you're running jobs. Um, it's a lot easier on these than it is on the others. Um, the control is more user-friendly to me. What, why did you gel with it? What's it, is it? Is it the functionality of it, the, 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 the touch screen? Yeah, the touch screen is it's very easy to navigate your way around the software. Um, everything's there in front of you. On the other machines, sometimes you have to dig into it a little bit to find what you need. Uh, and you, some of the things, some of the parts you're making, you're chasing tight limits as well, aren't you? Tight tolerances. Yeah, so, some of them are really tight. Um, the way we do it to get the parts off in in one op, um, it, it is difficult sometimes to get your tolerances in, but. I mean, having confidence in your machine to be able to achieve what it's got to achieve is, is good. The whole, let's call it a cell, because that's really what we have here with this 330. You've got your 10 pallet stations. The whole idea and the principle from your side is to be able to, to really walk away, press the button and walk away. How long are the periods that you do that for and this machine's just running on its own unmanned? I mean, it runs overnight most nights, non-stop until we're coming in the morning. Um, we've just added a period where it's run for, for I think it was 11 days non-stop uh, only time it stopped was to change a worn out tool once um, so yeah. Do you worry about that when it's just when it's just you've left it unmanned and running especially based on the fact that what we're going to see machining here is actually titanium so you know there's quite a uh, you know is there any concerns on tool life and the and the uh, stability of the machine during those longer periods? Um, sometimes, uh, usually, you, you, I never get worried about it because of the, the tool checking, the tool brake detection, that saves you if anything is to go wrong. Um, if you are running a particularly long job that is hammering the tools a bit, well, you'll put sister tooling in and give it a life and it, it manages that no problem, you don't really have to think about it really. Uh to have sister tooling, you need uh, an ex a bigger tool changer. How many tools do you actually then have on this MX330? It has uh, 90 tools in the carousel, which is, is more than enough for your, for your 10 pallets. And your sister tooling as well. So that it's quite. Uh, so you can be confident then that when you press the button, if there is an issue, uh, a sister tool can come in and then um, take over for the remaining components. Yeah, yeah. If, that, if that's the road you need to go down, your, your 90 tools will cover your sister tooling. It will deal with that, no problems. What about this setting area? I mean, look at this. This, this has, they really have thought a lot about how to lay this out, haven't they? Would you, would you say that this is something that's impressed you as well? Yeah, I mean, just, just the ten, the ten pallet table on some of the other, the other machines. You, you can only have one pallet in your loading bay at a time. Uh, you load it, you ready it, you put it away. You have to call another one out. It's a bit of a long out, drawn out process. With this one, I can. I can ready three at a time, I could probably load four at a time. It, it's just quick and easy, I mean, and you can see it all. Some of the other ones, you, you, your parts are hidden. If you've ever got a doubt in your mind that you've done something slightly wrong in your, in your pallet manager, with this I can see what I'm doing, I can relate back to the control, it tells me what's going on, and it just gives you a reassurance to leave it running overnight. And sometimes when you have unmanned machining, you don't worry too much about how fast the machine is actually machining the component because you're leaving it running, uh, like I say, unmanned. But are these machines quick still? If you, if you were doing one-offs on their own, loading it through the front, is it still a fast bit of kit? Yeah, very fast, very fast. How fast? Well, you've got a, a 14,000 spindle, which is, which is quick. Um, you can go as fast as you want in aluminium, really. It will deal with anything. There's no limitations to cut whips or cut depths in the likes of aluminium. I mean, we, we cut all sorts, hardened titanium, uh, in canals. I've never had an issue with a spindle stalling or... And this being your favourite machine in the machine shop, if you ever went out and ventured out on your own and set up your own company, would you buy Matsura? Yeah, definitely.